Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is Spagaver Backpacking, and a couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys this hammock. This is a Superior hammock from Superior Gear, and it is a USA made product. I actually had it out on a trip when I showed it to you guys, and I really had a good night's sleep in it. It kept me warm. The biggest advantage that I had with this thing was the Sonian under quilt not moving. No air gaps, no problems whatsoever. It is dead simple. Now there was one complaint I had. The one big complaint was the lack of an integrated bug net. So there's no bug net here. And so I was having problems with the bugs while I was out there. And so immediately after I came back, I got online and I went and I ordered the Superior Hammock bug net. So I've got the bug net for it. So let's get it on. I'll show you guys how it goes on, how easy it is to install, and then we'll take a look at it and just see whether or not this is gonna solve that problem for me. So this is essentially a Franke style bug net, meaning it overlaps the entire hammock. And then on the bottom, it has an elastic drawstring opening. And so it ends up with an opening underneath. And so you kind of come up through it, you kind of lift it up and get in. Um, so the way that you have to do it is if we already have it hung up, we can just disconnect an end, slide it through, go to the other end, slide it through, and then it is all set up and you never have to worry about it again. You can leave it installed on this hammock or the beauty of this one is if you have a different hammock that's about the same size, about an 11 foot hammock, 10 and a half, you can then take it off of this hammock, put it on a different hammock. And so it becomes a universal piece. So if you have other netless hammocks that you wanted to enjoy, but didn't have bug coverage, now you could use this and interchange it between your hammocks. So let's get it on. So we're gonna start down here just on one end. And because I've got it Beckett hitched, if you were using their cinch buckle system, you just disconnect, disconnect it. But with my Beckett hitch, I'm just gonna disconnect it, pull the line through. And then what I'm gonna do is find an end. Okay, there's the bottom. So an end should be right here. Okay, so I'm gonna take through the bottom I'm gonna put this through and come up to that end that I had just found. I can reach through if I want, grab. Yeah, it's hard to do when you're, there we go. So now I can just pull it through this end, reattach the Beckett hitch. And this side is on. Now it's got a little mini beaner here. So you'll attach that to the continuous loop. And then it has a cinch. So you'll cinch it up. I would cinch it on the outside of the, the whipping there so that there's no room for any bugs to get through. Now, what the, uh, what the mini beaner does is if you were to loosen this up, it's not gonna come away. It's not gonna pull away. So that keeps it where it's supposed to be. So now I've got that cinched up. What we can do is just kind of run this down to the other end and do the same thing down there. All right, so it's on this end down here. So we'll just kind of run it down through. And so we've got the end right there. Here's the bottom, the hole right there. So I've got it kind of laid out. Disconnect this end. Take this, make sure it's not twisted. Put this through the bottom. And I'll pull it up to the end. Let that fall through. Right now, I'll just, I'll just reconnect this real quick. Again, little mini beaner, hook that on. Cinch it up. And just kind of pull this underneath. and now the bug net is installed. Okay, you can see the bug net is completely on now. So because it's a Franke style, that means that the opening, and the reason it's called that is because another another older YouTuber uh, named Franke, he, his actual name is, is Trevor. Uh, he made this, this type of style up uh, quite a while ago. And the cool thing is it has this elastic drawstring. So right now you can see it's pretty loose. Bugs could easily get in there. So you can tighten this up, cinch it down so that the, the cinch cord 
is tight up against your under quilt and that way it's sealed off and no bugs are gonna get in. Now to get into the hammock, you simply find that hole, put it over your head and sit down in the hammock. Now, once you're in the hammock, it's not a big deal. It's not gonna fall on you too much. I'm gonna kick off my shoes. I'm gonna get in. Get myself situated. And because of the ridge line, the ridge line's gonna keep it up off of you. Now that I'm in here, I can find that cinch cord, tighten it up a little bit, and it seals up pretty well. A little tighter would be good. And now I'm fully protected from insects. Those bitey crawly guys that could be getting me. Um, so this solves the issue that I had with this hammock when I went out. Now to get it in and out, it's really easy. You just find that cinch. Now, because it is elastic, I mean, it's shock cord, you could easily just get in and out without adjusting it. Or you could reach down, grab that barrel lock, just squeeze it, it loosens, and now it's a little bit looser and easier to get in and out. Now you can sit in here like this with the bug net over you, kind of covering you if you're sitting in camp and it's buggy, or you can kind of pull it back over you like that and still sit in your hammock and have a conversation with anybody that's around with you. So like I had said before, this really is a great hammock. The design, the, the whole idea behind it, the premise of having that integrated under quilt is great. The big downside for me was the lack of a bug net, but it can be easily remedied by buying one from Superior Hammock, which they offer, which fits it perfect. Easy installation, good design, and it's a, it's a heavier duty bug net. It's not the, the super fine nano mesh that's going to easily tear or rip. You can leave it installed. You can switch it out between other hammocks. So it becomes a versatile piece of equipment that you can really use uh, with your setup, with your different arsenal to, uh, to make them work a little bit better. So this solves the issue that I had with this one. I really do like this and uh, it's a pretty good design. So if you guys are interested, check them out. I'll leave a link down below. If you haven't done so before, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give this video a like if you got anything out of it. If you have any comments, any feedback, leave them down below and I will respond to pretty much every one of them that you guys put out there, or at least I try to. I will see you guys down the trail.